can't throw away toes. There's butter on both sides. Like, come on. So, saving that. Hey y'all, my name is Evelyn from the internet and I'm a digital storyteller and YouTuber and overall condiment connoisseur. And this is my fridge story. A condiment connoisseur is one who must have an accoutrement on their dish at all times. I like sauce, dip, dressing, gravy, gotta be juicy. The food has to be juicy. Dry food, I just, I can't eat. What my fridge says about me is that I am trying, okay? I'm trying my very best. I got some fruits, I got two vegetables. My fridge says, hey, my Uber Eats budget might be high, but I'm trying to fix that. I love it so much. My favorite thing in my fridge is this chai concentrate, homemade chai concentrate that my friend Amanda, shout out to you, made me for Christmas from scratch. When I say from scratch, I mean even like the individual spices, not powder, you know what I mean? Like star anise, um, cinnamon sticks, clove buds, you know what I mean? Like love went into this beverage. So every morning I just drink this, a little bit of vanilla almond milk and it gives me life. Maple syrup, you try, you know better, but I can't stop eating frozen waffles. How I correct that in my mind is I get really high quality maple syrup. Frozen waffle, peanut butter, cinnamon, dust, syrup. Is it dessert? Yes. But if you eat it in the morning, it's breakfast. <laughs> So here in the great state of Texas, well, it's not all of Texas, but I live in Austin. So in the, in the lower regions of Texas, we have a store called HEB and it's my pride and my joy. It's my heart. It's my everything. <laughs> um, and I recently found that HEB made ranch, like fresh ranch. And sure, it was like $5. <laughs> Actually, no, it was $3.98. Boom. Delicious. Ranch with pizza, controversial, but I love it. These are uh, green beans with like chicken, potatoes, pizza, couscous, I guess turmeric rice, a piece of Texas toast from Raising Cane's. You can't throw away toast, there's butter on both sides. Like, come on. So saving that, leftover puppy chow, which is basically like, Chex cereal doused in like melted chocolate covered in powdered sugar. What is it that you're bought that you're crazy about? So forget LaCroix, forget it all. Waterloo. Waterloo is, is it based in Austin? Yeah, it's from Austin, Texas. This is the premier sparkling water beverage. Okay, so the food item I use the most is, as you can expect, a condiment. And that would be hot sauce. Everything must have hot sauce on it, even if it's already hot. <laughs> because it's like a dry hot and then I need a wet hot. It's, it's a whole thing. Hot sauce count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. My philosophy on hot sauce is that it doesn't really expire because of like the vinegariness. Um, is that science? Tell me in the comments. <laughs> Pretty much any fruit or like crispy vegetable with lime juice and tahi. If it's snack time, that's easy, it's fresh. I'm usually dehydrated, so it helps. Okay, two things. <laughs> of course, you have your typical baking soda, aroma sucker <laughs> box. That's pretty typical. But then I also have an empty avocado <laughs> dish thing. Um, I don't have any avocados, but it's also really good for putting lemons. Like if you put lemon in your water and you have nowhere to put the other half, you just put it in here. I no longer have an embarrassing thing in my fridge because I was furiously cleaning it the night before. 
Um, I had some frijoles. <laughs> I had some black beans in there and that's where the smell was coming from. I'll say that. <laughs> What's in the very back? How do I even explain? Um, this is like cheesecake adjacent filling. This is a quick snack. You take strawberries, you core them. Okay, so this is just a bunch of strawberry insides. And then you whip up like a cream cheese, vanilla type of cream cheese filling and you pipe it in to the hollow strawberry. So good. And you top it with some like crushed graham cracker. I'm gonna eat some of this. It's good. Perfectly good strawberry insides. <laughs> I would say like a mozzarella, but definitely like the little volleyballs balls and not like shredded mozzarella. So I don't have any of that right now, but let me show you the cheese I do have. I have some queso fresco, mozzarella, medium cheddar, mild cheddar, Italian style blend, <laughs> goat cheese. I don't even like goat cheese. I don't know why I bought this. Provolone slices, cream cheese, Parmesan cheese, feta crumbles, New York extra sharp cheddar. <laughs> Dairy. <laughs> I can't even lie. I wish I had cake. Just a sheet of cake. It could be a round cake. It could be a slice of cake. I went grocery shopping and I just bought butter because I was like, I feel like butter is in my future. I feel like cake is in my future because I feel like we'd all deserve some cake right now. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, I was thinking about cake. <laughs> okay, so welcome to my freezer. It's a little sparse and I will be receiving a phone call from my parents about the two adult beverages that are in here, but Girl's gotta live her life, <laughs> you know what I mean? So you know how I said my fridge um, says that I'm trying? I feel like Trader Joe's helps me try. And so this is just individual bags of brown rice. Pop it in the microwave for three minutes and like you have a grain, you know what I mean? And you just need a vegetable and a protein of some sort. And you are doing good for yourself. <laughs> I need to tell you guys this. <laughs> I cannot find QP mayo in this city for the life of me. So what you're supposed to do, or what I like to do, is you fry one of these up, little scallion pancakes, put your little sriracha, put a little QP mayo. Doesn't exist. I feel like it doesn't exist in the city of Austin. So if you have the QP mayo hookup in central, I'm not, not even Austin, central Texas, let me know in the comments below. I will love you forever. So apologies in advance to those who don't eat meat. I'm about to show me in five, four, three, two, one. So this, <laughs> this is a pork tenderloin that we randomly got during the Texas like snow apocalypse because that's all that was left. I've never cooked a pork tenderloin in my life. Like I don't know what to do with this. Um, so every time I open my freezer, it's a reminder of what we've survived. <laughs> what I learned is that my fridge definitely has like phases of life. So right now my fridge is in the phase of like, let's get some nutrients, let's drink some water, let's try and eat your vegetables and your leftovers. But other times my fridge is in a stage of furiously recipe testing ranch, or it's like all sauce, no solid foods. I learned that I'm in a pretty good place right now. So yeah, that's my fridge story. Thanks so much for stopping by, taking a look at my own accoutrements. Uh, if you wanna learn more about me and see where I'm at, follow me on Evelyn from the internets everywhere. I also have another food channel called Smack Your Lip, and hopefully videos will be uploaded there by the time you see this. Hold me to it. Bye.